By the way, this is my bunny. He's such a cutie patootie, huh? His name is Chubby. He's a Holland Lock bunny. Hi, Papa. Look at your widow nose, yeah? Look at his widow nose. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial on this look that I have on my face. So it is gonna be like a fall, it is gonna be a fall makeup tutorial. Um, this is the look I came up with and it's like a very bold look. Um, I did do very bold eyes and a very bold lip. Um, you can do whatever you want. You, if you don't want the bold lip, you can use, um, you can pair it off with a nude lip. But this is what I just preferred, and I felt like this was just a perfect look for fall. Um, in my opinion, like I just really like the whole bold lip. I really love bold lips, deep, dark, bold lips, and then I do love bold eyes also. Um, so this is the look I came up with. It's basically like a maroon, maroonish purple eye, and then as paired off with like a cranberry red deep cranberry lip color um i didn't also put so much highlight because um i don't think your highlight is supposed to be intense during the fall i am not sure but you can do whatever you want you can make that highlight intense if you want but i didn't make my highlight super intense today but I, but you can still see that I do have highlights. Obviously, you can still tell that I do have highlights. Um, usually, I would make my highlights super intense. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and so I, I really like this look. I hope you guys also enjoy this look. Um, yeah, and for all the new people that are on my channel and watching this video, welcome to my channel. My name is Marilyn. Um, Welcome, and thank you for watching. <laughs> and let's just get on with the tutorial before I make this intro super long. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Spot in the shade Soft Ochre. You guys know that I use this all the time in my tutorials to prime my lid, so that's what I am doing. And today we are actually going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I will be taking the vanilla shade right there. Um, and I'm just going to be using a big fluffy brush and just applying it messily onto my lid. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're just basically going to set the eyeshadow base so it won't, it won't be super tacky. And it will be easier for the eyeshadows to blend out. Okay, so taking that maroon plum color from the chocolate bar palette, I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and just apply it messily onto my lid. And I'm just going to apply it very messily. Um, don't bring it all the way, like, all the way past your crease. We're just going to bring it all the way um, to the crease, basically. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm just going to be using that to blend out any harsh lines, any harsh edges, just so it won't be super harsh and it'll just have that gradient effect. Um, you know, no one wants that very harsh eyeshadow. <laughs> and here I'm going to be taking that light brown eyeshadow from the same palette and we're going to be using another fluffy brush and just applying it onto the crease. This eyeshadow will basically act as a transition color for the whole look and for all the whole eyeshadow that we're going to be applying to our lid. And taking the Laura Pro Palette 2, I'm going to be taking that purple color. It's in the shade Plum, and it's like a very nice purple plummy color. <laughs> and I'm just going to be using that and applying it onto my crease as well. I do want to deepen up the crease, and I didn't want to use a black, so I wanted to use like a color that's similar so I use like a deep purple like a plum purple I don't want it to be super purple so I use like a plum purple it's basically to just deepen up the crease a little bit to create that very smoky effect so here I am taking a fluffy brush and just uh, blending everything out the key to eyeshadow is blending I'm pretty sure you guys heard that a million times but it's true so going on to my face before I finish the rest of my eyes I'm gonna be using my Smashbox um, photo ready finishing primer I believe that's what it's called and I'm just applying that onto my face and just priming my face 
Next, I'm going to be taking my NYX HD foundation, and this is in the shade Natural Beige, and I am just going to be applying that all over my face. I am using a foundation brush at first just to apply the foundation, and then I'm going to go on with my Real Techniques um, buffing brush and just blending everything out. I know this, this um, foundation was way too light, like it was super light, so you'll see what I mean. Like once we finish the foundation, you're going to see what I mean by it was super light. Like I look like a ghost, but it's okay because we're going to use bronzer and contour, so it's going to be okay. <laughs> taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 10 Light, and I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eyes. I'm just basically going to use this to highlight and as a coverage underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to apply that so underneath my eyes and in the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. My chin. My chin. You guys have seen me do this step like a million times in my tutorials, so I don't know if I really have to explain it, but for all the new people that are watching this, um, I guess I'll, ex I'll explain this to you. So I'm just using my Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge, and I'm just using that to blend everything out. I really like this sponge to really blend everything out, like my foundation, my concealer, it makes my whole face look super flawless, like seriously it does. Going back onto the eyes, I'm going to be using that, it's like a champagne pink color from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, and I'm just going to be taking that on a small pencil brush and just applying it on the inner corners of my eyes, just to brighten up the look and just make my eyes pop. This will basically be the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm also going to be using that same color to highlight my brow bone, and yeah, this color is so beautiful. <laughs> and going back in with that maroon color from the same palette, I'm just going to be using that to apply as close as I can get to my lash line. I really want this look to be super deep and smoked out, so I am applying eyeshadow underneath my eyes. For mascara, I am using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I'm just applying it on my upper lashes. I will leave my bottom lashes alone because I am going to use a different mascara, um, but for right now, we're just going to leave that alone. And I am going to apply some lashes, some dramatic lashes. These are the Coco Lashes in Goddess. You guys see me put it in my last tutorial. I love these lashes. They're super intense, um, but it's something that I wouldn't use every day. Um, here I am taking my Tarte Sample Mascara, and I am just using that to apply onto my lower lashes. Just apply the mascara. <laughs> going back onto my face, I am going to be using this NYC Smooth Skin, Smooth Skin, Smooth Skin Bronzer, and I'm just going to be applying that all over my face, just to bring more warmth and color back to my face. Since that foundation was way too light, I do want to add bronzer to my face just to deepen up the look, and so I won't look super white, you know. <laughs> Let's get ready to contour. So I am going to be using my Shade and Light Contour Palette. You guys know I use this all the time also. I love this contour palette. And I'm just going to be using like a small blending brush and just be using it to like basically precise contour a little bit and then use a fluffy brush to blend everything out and then pick up more product and add a bit more product onto my contour and stiff it like that. Oops, I guess I forgot to, I forgot to show it, but um, I, will, I was contouring um, on my forehead and my temples as well. For blush, I am using my Milani Rose Collection Blush. I will put the shade down below in the description bar, so make sure to check it out because I forgot what color blush I was using. But I'm basically just using this blush to apply onto the apples of my cheeks. This blush is really beautiful for fall because it's such a deep mauve color. And for highlights, I am using my um, Mary Luminizer. And I am just applying that onto my Cupid's bow, my nose, like the tip of my nose basically. And then I am going to add it onto my cheekbones as well. But I will be using a different brush to add it onto my cheekbones. And I did also apply some highlights on my forehead as well. Just to give that extra highlighted look basically but not super highlighted if that makes sense um i just want to like softly highlight not super intense highlight 
So going on with the lips, I am using my NYX lip liner in the shade Deep Purple. And I'm just going to be using that to line my lips because I don't want to go outside out of the line, basically. And this will just basically help your lipstick last longer. And using this um, NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Siren, and I'm just applying that all, all over my lips. This is such a beautiful color to use. It's like a berry purple color, like a deep berry color basically. And it's such a beautiful color. So yeah, this is the finished look for you guys. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. You guys know the drill. If you guys didn't enjoy it, um, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. And watch my live broadcasts on you now. Um, also. So yeah, I will see you guys later in my next video. Um, okay, bye guys.